<sighs> if the sound isn't recording this video, I'm I give up. I give up. Um, yeah. So why didn't it record the last few episodes? I don't know. You tell me. Wait. Before we start this, I I have caffeine. I have a drink. Hold on. Wait. Just just one one second. One second. Just gotta. Mmm. Mostly, I just sprayed the crap out of the drawing. Well, better before than after. Um, please do not treat your drawings like this. Also, welcome to Inktober, the series. Um, by AMC. Not by AMC. I'm kidding. So, I have a pre-drawing here. We're gonna do it! But this time, a new pen will, will come into play that I, I actually have not, I haven't grabbed yet. So that'll be a fun, will be a fun uh, jaunt, I would say. You know, across the room. A waste of time. <laughs> Reminds me, that's my favorite uh, bad dad jokes with, Rick Grimes, um, Walking Dead. There's a meme. If you're unaware, there's a meme with with that character saying bad dad jokes to uh, his son Carl. My favorite one was uh, he leans down. He leans down into Carl. I need to set up the scene for you if you haven't seen the the meme. Um, gets down. Puts his hands on his knees, gets gets close to Carl, says, Carl, I I, I put all my watches together. I, t I, I connected them to make a belt. It was a waste of time, Carl. It was a waste of time. Waste, of course, spelled W-A-I-S-T. Anyway, I really enjoy that crap. Don't judge me. I mess you up. Like how I pour the drink, but don't drink the drink. I'm very hot. It's toasty in the house right now. Why would I draw lines like that? I'm kind of, I'm away, sitting away a little bit from, from this. So, all right. Let's do this. I decided to change where that line was going. Let's do that. It's just... You know what? You know what I could do, actually? I could do that. I don't know if I like that at all. But it's a thing I can do. I'm the artist. Shh. All right. So I kind of put it inside this like chasm area. So it's there. It's not not good. It's not good stuff. But hey, if that's the one mistake I make in this drawing, then I'm happy with it. So since I haven't mentioned yet, this is this is for everyone. Jump in. This is I mean, if you want, you can get a gra grab a grab something to draw on. We're drawing. Here we are. Here we go. We are doing it. Doing it and doing it and doing it. Yeah. That was a song at one point. I'm not sure by who. I I am sure that I never liked that song. Sorry for fans of that. So what I'm going to do actually in this one is grab a ballpoint pen and then regret not just using it on the entire drawing, but I, you know, I'm under the understanding, I'm of the impression, I gather that ballpoint pen takes an eternity to work with. 
let's get this bold line crap going on again like we did in the other drawing that like got ruined by no sound this is sort of a like retelling a retelling of that story I am without a car right now well sort of I just I don't my car it needs to be looked at tonight I was I was planning on going up to meet with friends artist friends of mine in Denver didn't happen did not happen tonight what will I do I will miss them. That's what I'll do. So let's talk about the audio here. Cuz it's been a it's been a issue. I'd like to explain myself a little bit. Um I attempted to record 3 in a row and act like they came out on different days, like I did them on different days. Um, the reality was I was working on other things and just didn't feel I had time for the Inktober stuff. So I put it off and then tried to do it, do it all at once, put them all up and to my chagrin, that's a word, much to my chagrin, uh, the the sound the sound didn't record and the reason why was essentially that my microphone it's a it's a blue yeti for some reason there's like a static electricity buildup involving the yeti and my chair and i don't know how that works but basically sometimes when i pull in my chair to work it generates uh, enough electricity to like short the microphone uh, and as far as I know, I, I don't have a way to like change the setup to where it would be reasonable for me to set, like, I, I'm not going to set the Yeti off to the side. I don't know. It has something to do with my, uh, my headphones. I listen to everything on as well. So, Yeah. But we got this. We got this going on. I'm fairly certain I was able to avoid this crap from happening this time. Uh, if I didn't, well, same old, same old for you, I guess, if you've been following the series. And I hope you have, though, you know, you would have to first enjoy drawing and you know also enjoy my uh shenanigans i suppose dun, dun, dun. so what have you been doing what have you been up to tell me what you've been drawing mostly so when i when i started dr drawing this uh my thought was let's just redo the like little kid the cutesy version uh this is very similar and then i got to thinking hey this could be like mr freeze like a re redo of mr freeze because i remember he was like uh significantly bulkier in the arkham series the games I don't know what what to call them exactly. I think that I think they would refer to themselves as the Arkham series. Arkham City, Arkham you know. Cuz it was what was it? Arkham Asylum, Arkham City and then like Arkham Knight. And then there was like downloadable content. Maybe I'm missing one in there. Uh, I haven't been playing video games an awful lot the last few years due to lack of funds for that and time time is the biggest factor really because 
I will find ways to blow money on games and, you know, it'll be worth it. Because bills don't exist. What if there's just a bunch of... Here, he has, he has vents. Vents inside for cooling. He's Mr. Freeze. Ding dong. Um, someone just rang my doorbell. Uh, yeah. You know, funny things happen when the doorbell rings. Sometimes you, you know, spend time talking to people and then have to go to bed. So, yeah. There's been an entire day between now and, you know, a split second ago. But we're going to continue on with this weird Mr. Freeze. Try not to do too much detailing. With this pen anyway. Did I switch pens? I don't know. I may have without really thinking about it. Do -do 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 boom My cat is puking in the background. It's wonderful. Chill out. Man, what a terrible casting choice in Arnold Schwarzenegger. It was like, who has a weird uh, European vibe about them? Let's cast that person. So strange. You know, Joel Schumacher took the blame for all the, the bat nipple stuff that I didn't even have an issue with, but he never really admitted to any of his other wrongdoings. Does Mr. Freeze have pupils? I don't think he does. I am going to try and get some stuff in there oh the other thing that happened between now and last time is that I got a new setup up here so that's cool and by last time I mean split seconds before the the cut to strange new camera angles a whole new angle that's what we'll use using this as the warm-up today for myself last time I was using it as the like cool down let's let's finish up the day by doing this drawing and now it's a whole new thing um, sort of just putting in random random stuff here I plan on going in with a ballpoint pen later was I trying to keep that secret? Can't remember. This pen's not really putting down like extremely black lines. I guess that's okay. I'm not really sure. So, uh, artist, fellow artist friend of mine, Jeremy McHugh, is posting on Facebook about how much work he did this last week. I thought I was swamped. Oh boy. I can't even really imagine doing that kind of work. Uh, he has a kid too and also teaches. And then he did more work than I did in the week. So I'm a little blown away and a little humbled. Is that the right word? I often hear athletes use that word incorrectly. Like, I just tied Wayne Gretzky's all-time record for something. I'm humbled. Are you? 
like it may uh, uses like that make me feel like I'm using words wrong you know I very mel very mel wavy I very well maybe my warm-ups I'm much what I was going to what I'm trying to say here is <laughs> I I am a lot more quiet in the morning than I am at night it's just how I am I always wake up at night so you can always tell when I'm recording these assuming the sound is on so it catches it it's very frustrating when the sound is not caught. This is almost like a Bane type character with all the hoses going everywhere. I don't know. Maybe Batman just has a lot of villains with hoses when you think about it, you know? Like Bane has a bunch of hoses for his bullcrap, for his steroid abuse. Then Mr. Freeze has some hoses going to his freeze ray gun. He actually does, not just this character design. Like, every character design has some kind of hose. And then, like, the Joker uses that flower to spray crap in people's face, the, the acid. And when you think about it, there's got to be a hose involved there somewhere. Poison Ivy has vines, it's hose-like. Um, I'm pretty sure uh, Mr. Cotter was in the Batman universe from Welcome Back Cotter up your nose with the rubber hose oh yeah I know of it I know all about it I love that song a theme song for Welcome Back Cotter it's a good one. I used to get all excited when that show came on Nick at Night. Welcome back in your dreams. Welcome back. Something, 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 something. The names have all changed since you've been around. The dreams are. Some... I don't even know. Don't know how it goes at all. Who'd have thought they'd lead you? Who'd have thought they'd lead you back here where we need you? Yeah, we tease them a lot because we've got them on the spot. Welcome back. And there you go. Welcome back, Cotter. I like the idea of him having like normal sized hands. I don't think he's gonna have like oversized hands as Mr. Freeze. Normal normal person sized hands out here. I'm trying to get out of the camera's way, but I just actually can't draw. If I'm stretched out like that. Okay, I think I'm, you know, getting to a point where I'm ready for the pen I still don't have. I think I commented on the last video that I did not have that ready. 
despite that being the plan. And still, um, a day later, this is the case. So, let's finish this hand up. So that's in there. All right, whatever. He's Mr. Freeze. Oh, you know what I forgot? Mr. Freeze has like big old goggle things. We can fix it. can rebuild it. We can make him stronger, more gogglier. Okay. So, I hope I didn't leave too much work for myself. Let me find a ballpoint pen really, really quick. Oh, there's, there's, you know, I have things for supplies all around me. Do I keep anything organized? Of course not. <sighs> well, is this blue? Only one way to find out. I'd call that blue. Hold on. Well, blue might work. Hold on. Blue might work. I don't think I have another ballpoint pen in here. I need to reach over. Man, what a boring video. Oh my god. Alright. Well, this might turn into a three part thing as I pause it to look for a pen of some kind. Okay. Okay, I found the pen. I got the money. The money is mine. All right. Um, I don't feel like I moved this. I don't want to move it too much. All right. Let's get these out of here. Let's start to... So I actually don't know what I'm doing with this, but basically it's just supposed to appear as though these, you know, these are the lighter shades. I think it would be a mistake to like make the lines somewhat curvy. So I'm going to try and keep them as straight as possible along the lines of this stuff. I can adjust the separation a little bit as we go around a curve to make it make the gradient pop a little bit. Um, I'll do the same thing down here can curve around this one because it's a cylinder just basically making all the shading a little bit more grayscale less um, and I'm kind of adjusting a line here as well uh, less just black and white See how much like actual like curve shading I can do here. I don't know how good I'm gonna be at this, but I mean you can barely see that in the screen. Let me tilt this. Uh, I don't know if that's helpful. Sure. Seems fine. Alright, 
So over here, I guess I'm, I'm going to do that. I don't know. That seems fine. If we do that all over, it's going to look good. That looks kind of fine. And we can maybe put a cast shadow in there. I like it. I'm a fan. Just keep on changing directions to get a darker line instead of pushing harder. Um, that's sort of a graphite technique where you change like pencil hardnesses softnesses whatever you never push harder and you can change you can change directions as well we'll get into that after inktober there's only so much time in the day. It's looking all right. It's not bad. dead silence. It's as if it doesn't even matter if the microphone's gone. Let's just keep talking. Why would we not? And like I said, I'm adjusting lines as I go in here too. So, yeah, that looks a lot better, doesn't it? Not compared to the rest of it. Alright, let's drag this fellow in. I'm gonna put actually a little bit of a little bit of shading accent in here. Let's keep following along the same sort of lines, just almost get a sense of either that this is a shiny surface or that it is rounded there. I guess if I wanted to show that it was rounded there, I would curve the lines in a different direction or something. I'm just going to take that all the way across. I like that. And I'm just going to attempt to make this look almost ball-like. A lot more lines on this side. And I assume I was going for vents over here, so I'm going to do that. Some sort of weird thing on his armor. Strange vent thing. Seems fine. He 
Yeah. Yeah. It's all working out. It's all going my way. My way today. Let's flip it around. Flip it. Just pressing really, really lightly to try and get this feathery sort of Seems fine to me. pretty well I think I think it's looking pretty good it's not taking too long either I was expecting it to take kind of an eternity but we've avoided that getting there in a pretty timely manner I would say I don't know exactly what's going on with this arm I'm actually just gonna put armor down here, assuming it's supposed to be armored. Let's do some of this stuff. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> well, my screen went off. Oh, and it's back. I'm a little concerned that I'm not making this look metal-like as a result of how I shade. I just need to be sure to get like really hard edges on my shading. Seems fine. Not awful. Not the worst, I would say. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it is the worst. Looks pretty nice. I'm getting like ink buildup on the end of this pen and I'm wondering what the cause of that is. It's just like the way I'm using the pen, or what's up? Let's get this roundness in here. I assume these are also vents. I don't know how they work exactly, but they're vent-like. <laughs> yep. Well, what's happening? that these look right necessarily, but it is a thing. It adds some interest. Yeah, whatever. Doesn't look great, but we'll deal with it.
Take a life, and do you know what you get? Odds are you on that, what it is. Some Chris Cornell for you. I guess technically it's me for you, but that's his song. Or was that Chris Cornell, or was it Audio Slave, or one of his like hundred other bands? I can't remember. I'm way off the page. We're just drawing all the way to the edge. Um, let's draw here. Seems fine. Why wouldn't we? Why wouldn't we draw right there? funky is going on here not sure if the camera is like falling in towards what I'm drawing or not let's assume it is and we have like 14 minutes until it hits the actual surface of the page that's our that's our doomsday we wish to draw doomsday that's a cool character. Well, like female Doomsday. There's not enough female villains in Batman that aren't like, you know, sexy or whatever. I guess there's like, what was it? Mother, from. She was uh, like a dark side, crony. It's a good one. But like the rest of them are all like dominatrix, like sexy things or whatever. It's just weird. I think it's kind of funny. Um, I've been listening to podcasts and whatnot on DC versus Marvel, like the movies, and I don't know, I, I found it a little comical that they felt that DC was doing better in representing women and minorities, because <sighs> frankly, I don't know, I've been, I've been upset with DC recently. But maybe they maybe they have been doing an okay job. Obviously, there's all see. This is what I'm talking about with this pen. It's like all of a sudden, it's like goop, goop everywhere. Yeah, it's not drawing. Ugh, ugh. crap all over my hand now. Um. Yeah, but I don't know. They did this thing, this contest with Harley Quinn. Like they're they're gonna do a Harley Quinn spin-off comic. And well I guess let me back up, because they were only talking about the movies on these podcasts. But I think the takeaway was like, oh, they are planning movies and they have this cast of characters that is representative of female and minority characters but the reality is like they have not done once a movie that represented a good female character I think like no one no deep character I mean frankly they do a bad job of deep any character but you know someone with with a little nuance to how they how they perceive the world and how they think Anyway, this is all I want to see in the world, but so fast forwarding again to my discussion about like DC actual comics, not, not the movies. Um, yeah, they, they did this contest, like you could be a, 
an artist for the new Harley Quinn if you sent in or if they liked your um, your image but they they needed to get specific drawings right and one of like it was like all Harley Quinn killing herself or whatever which was disturbing in the first place but then like all of them were like somewhat sexualized like the description of them was like sexy and also killing herself with a toaster in the bathtub it was like what so first of all that's a messed up contest for just like random people like that was released to the public like hey kids want to be an artist for dc comics draw this really messed up thing you know and i get that harley quinn is a messed up character I would even be like if if the rest of the comic was like somewhat um the, obviously I'm not familiar with the comic at all. I don't even know if it exists yet, but um if the comic was reasonably fair most of the time like showed her as a complex character um I'd be totally down with like the covers that they described done in good taste or whatever you know I, I don't even know but not for the general public like it's just a messed up thing to have like contest for random people in the public like with no with no um understanding of what the backstory was for that event or you know Anyway, obviously a lot of people got in an uproar about that and, you know, just before that they had denied a wedding for Batgirl, who is a lesbian. So, like, there's, like, an example of, you know, and the reasoning was, like, DC Comics heroes can't have like a happy life, um, which was bullcrap because there's there's two things going on there. One was um, they're they're hurting their own writing. Like you can write a good story with a person who is married or whatever, you know. Um, so what you're basically saying for for the sake of your writing is well, all our characters have to be exactly the same. Like, they have to go through the exact same troubles and none of them can be original to each other. Which is ridiculous. It's just, it's just hurting you as a franchise. Um, and then the other thing you're saying, um, basically beyond, beyond all of that, is that you just don't believe gays should be married uh which i think they're going to be on the wrong side of history on on that one very soon um if not already i mean we just had in the united states we just had the um like state courts make all the decisions regarding marriage or whatever i i don't know exactly the reasoning of the supreme court to just decide but they were like we're just not going to look at any other cases involving marriage and the state rules apply the state laws apply so basically any judge in a state just makes the decision for that state um which i don't know like it's a little bit of a cop-out but i think um, well, first of all, it's a good thing that it happened, I guess, because, uh, like, the vast majority of our states said, yes, this is constitutional, absolutely, um, you can, you can be married, provided you are two human beings and love each other, you know, or whatever. I'm sure that was not the language used, but the point is... Um, 
what I was going to say with the cop out thing is the the Supreme Court like didn't want to make a decision regarding that. I th- and I think it's like just all political. I, I could be wrong, but it seems like the courts are way more politicized than they should be. This is looking okay, and my camera my camera is just dropping so low. We're gonna back up a little. Holy crap! How how do you how do you even how do you even? Okay, let's here here we go. There we go, sort of. All right. Let's flip this around for you to see it. Right. It's totally upside down, but whatever. It's not the point. And ballpoint pens are really messy. You know, you know what I'm gonna do after this. I'm going to make some pancakes because it's the morning. I think it's pancake day. It's about that time. Okay, it's not technically morning anymore. It did get up much earlier than this. It just didn't start working till now. I mean, I guess you can call this work. This is sort of for fun. What I'm noticing about this technique is it's kind of making everything seem, or the way I'm doing it right now is that it's making everything seem like it's on the same plane, but it would be very easy to use this technique to make it seem as though things are receding into the background, and that's what I'm going to try and do here in a second. So it would be after I finish just normally shading everything. Uh, let's put down like giant blobs of ink. to plan so I think I said this in a in a previous episode or earlier in this episode but I need to plan for Spectrum Live as I have a table there this next year um, very excited but I need to sort of plan on what I'm going to do exactly. Part of that is definitely going to be intaglio prints, but I think it might involve me making more. And I'm questioning a little bit how... Um, sorry, when I say intaglio, There's a bunch of different techniques. I guess what I'm specifying is etchings. I want to do uh, zinc plate etchings, like a, a um, maybe a series of a hundred of them. Um, my thought is that these would sell much better, and to me, they're much cheaper to make. It's just, it's much time, more time consuming. Um, yeah, I really should have his goggles kind of be attached instead of just like on his face. That's fine. Let's do that. But yeah, 
So, I don't know. I just think I think they're much nicer than stuff that just gets printed by a press. I think they're much more like you have a guarantee that no one is ever going to replicate it in any way. Um, as a collector, I think they are more valuable. I would like to start something within the community and say, you know, like, listen, we got to um, be a little bit more original in how we're approaching sales at conventions um, and not just sort of leave it to, well, we're doing worse this year. Everything, you know, is crap, but like realize that we need to innovate a little bit to compete with everything out there his head's a little bit wonky it's all right though it's okay but yeah i just heard so many people talking about uh the horrible sales at conventions recently i think it's um more related to comic conventions than anything else however um, yeah I just I'm liking these lines over here I don't know why um, anyway but I just want to maybe try something that no one's doing and see if there is an extreme positive impact on my sales compared to theirs because I'm a fairly unknown artist and I think it would be very telling were I to do well uh, at this convention. So what I want to do now that I have like all the shading down is, and let's take a look at this. Not bad, huh? Not bad? All right, so you can barely see it. I'll, I'll use I'll use the final picture as the uh, screenshot or whatever that advertises the video that you click on. Um, so I just I want to figure out a way now to push this the depth of everything. And generally, how you do that is you have more contrast up front less contrast in the back. I notice I miss a hose back here. Let's get that in. So what that means is um, I have like very dark darks up front, very white whites as well next to each other, you know. So I'm doing that up here and the other thing is you see more detail with things closer to you rather than things further away so one way I could do this is actually putting a gradient on one side of this thinking that might be the call like what if I just could also you know have like smoke or something coming up from the back I don't know something but basically by having this like almost gray background I am making the grays in the suit kind of blend in so basically the black is for is less for far off from the background here than it would be in the front so it appears that this whole back is going to be like further away And 
if I really wanted to put a lot of effort into this, then I would go in, do all this, and just do more detail work. So that we could see all the little imperfections up front and not in the back. Um, just more bold lines up front. Which I sort of have going on anyway, but I don't know. But I'm going to call it a day on this one because I have stuff to do. So have a good one, and I'll see you next time. Bye.